Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over the mayor. The mayor can be found in the Precursor Legacy. He lives in Sandover Village and his hut can be found on the southern end. His hut stands out the most out of the others as it is very tall and has a large windmill on the front. The roof of his hut is quite different to the others. It is still made from wooden tiles but not as cone shaped and has a wooden dome on top instead. It still has the two eaves like the others but these ones are not as pronounced. His hut also has two smaller roofs. These are the same style as the main one, just without the eaves. In the main tower there are two glass windows in the middle section. The two smaller sections of the hut have one glass window each, and a larger window that opens with a hatch. The walls of the smaller section are smooth stone. This is also true for the middle section of the main tower. The lower section of the tower is made of bricks, the same as the hut's foundation. The main tower has three sections. These are separated by wooden trim. The top section holds the windmill. The windmill spins slowly in the wind. The sail on the back is there to turn the windmill in the direction of the wind, so this top section might have the ability to rotate around. The windmill has been modified however. This device on the front is used to collect Blue Eco to create power instead of using the wind. The doorway to the hut has a ramp leading up and a lantern overhead, attracting moths at night. Straight ahead when entering the hut is a sunken in circle with pillows around the perimeter. Inside is a large fire in the centre. The fire pit also has prongs to hang up a spit. The villagers possibly have town meetings in here. Behind this is a large circular desk with a tall back chair. On the desk is some paper, rolled up scrolls of parchment, and a stone cup. Above this is a lantern and two shelves, one with books and the other with a tiny bucket and a stone jug. On the left side of the hut is a circular table spanning around one of the hut's pillars, with two stools and two empty shelves above. There is also another lantern here. On the right hand side of the hut there are two large chests with two empty shelves on the wall. A third lantern can also be found here. Next to the doorway are two plants with a red flower. There is also a blue mat in the doorway. Looking up in the hut there are some stationary gears. The mayor will ask you to fix this problem he's having. The left room of the hut has a small table and stool with two shelves. One of them has two more of these tiny buckets. These are all placed between the two windows. The large open window has flowers sitting in it. To the left of the window is another shelf. This has more books on top. In the corner of this room there is a fire pit with a cauldron hanging from the chimney. The fire is not lit however, there is also a stool sitting here. The room on the right hand side has a blue rug in the doorway. Between the two windows sits the mayor's bed. This is quite large with three pillows on top. To the right hand side of his bed is another plant with a red flower. On the wall is a shelf with more books. The large open window to the left of his bed has flowers sitting in it. To the left of this window is a large chest with more books sitting on a shelf above. The flooring of the hut is made from wood and it goes out in a big spiralling pattern. The mayor can be found in his hut, talking to himself while pacing. They want me to go into the jungle? Me? <laughs> Oh, I'd sooner wrestle an enraged flut flut. Oh, this is a catastrophe. A catastrophe, I say. Oh, windmill, monsters, power, re-election. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
what's happened to the village's energy beam. <laughs> but first, the fisherman's boat is it, 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 it's attacked by a monster. <laughs> now, now this. Uh, what, what else could go wrong? <laughs> I'll never get reelected now. Problems. All this, I, I got the problems. All that. <laughs> problems. Oh, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm got. Ooh. Uh, maybe I should raise taxes to just to pay for this mess. The mayor has purple bands around his feet. His lower legs are covered with white leggings. Over these he is wearing purple shorts. He wears a long sleeve white shirt. Over the top of this he is wearing a light purple vest with large buttons. Around his neck he is wearing a very large red bow tie. Atop his head he has a large purple top hat. This has a white band around the middle. This is also where he keeps his power cells. The mayor has a rather large nose. Under this sits a truly epic moustache. He has very bushy eyebrows and his hair is layered in rolls of curls. The mayor's hair is a very light blue colour. When talking to the mayor, he will ask you to restore the energy beam in return for a power cell. He will also ask you to bring him 90 precursor orbs. For this he will give you another power cell. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And the boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah, hmm? oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest. 90 precursor orbs. Those tower doohickeys scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with them. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. We should go tell that windbag of the mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. 
Now that the beam is connected, the windmill is turning again, and you can see and hear the gears turning inside the hut. The official Jack Free Guide has a section of interviews with Naughty Dog and a Where Are They Now section. This refers to the mayor as Mayor Manic. Here's what it has to say about him. After Jack and Daxter's first adventure, Mayor Manic ran an unsuccessful campaign to become regional governor, but was beaten in a landslide by a popular bodybuilding movie star. After his defeat, Mayor Manic retired to a cosy home overlooking Fire Canyon where he spent his remaining days speaking at bipolar disorder conventions and writing his memoirs, A Takes a Village Idiot, detailing his many years as a buffoon do-nothing politician. The mayor is a great character in the game. He is extremely energetic and excitable. However, he is extremely anxious and very on edge about being re-elected or not. He seems very overwhelmed by the problems the other villagers are facing. And that's my overview on the mayor. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.